Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Pisces for the month of April 2010. And this also applies if you have a Pisces ascendant. So you Pisces, well, there's going to be a focus on relationships, work and money this month. Quite a lot happening. Finally, Mars has gone direct in your work area. And I know a lot of you have been feeling so frustrated in the work area as though things are not moving forward. You've been putting in ever so much a lot of energy and you feel as though your energy's just been drained. You really, you have another burst of energy and somehow mm, there's been obstacles, there's been hurdles you've had to go through and it's not moved forward. Well, now it should be starting to move forward for you. However, Pisceans, you can't just space off and escape into your dream world. You're going to have to be very focused and you're going to have to be very proactive in your work area. And if you're willing to do that and be very proactive, then I think you're going to see some good results coming now that Mars has gone direct into that sixth house of work for you. Um, we've got the sun in the second house until the 20th of the month. So shining a light on how you earn your money. Your values, what's important to you? Are you living your life in accordance with your values or are you um, putting priorities, other priorities ahead of what's really important to you? After about the 20th of the month, we've got a lot of planets in your third house. So Pisceans, many of you may be looking at doing a course of study or maybe teaching or maybe looking at selling something or marketing something, particularly over the internet. The internet would rule the third house. Technology rules the third house. Now, Pluto is going to go retrograde on the 5th of the month and Pluto is in your 11th house and this rules your dreams and your wishes. And when Pluto goes retrograde, you need to look at where you're giving your control away to other people's dreams and wishes, where they're getting their way and you're not really getting what you need. And there is a tendency for that anyway, Pisces. It is within your nature always to be rather giving and just giving away. But it's really time when Saturn, uh, when Pluto is retrograde, sorry, in your 11th house, um, it's time to look at your dreams and where you've got some destructive patterns in place where you're giving your power away and you're just letting everybody else have their wishes fulfilled and not looking at your own. So it's time to look at those patterns and time to do some inner soul work and maybe look at yourself first, just for a change, Pisces. I know you don't do that very often, but really this is important for you to be doing that. Venus um, is in your fourth house. Um, after the 25th of the month. And this could mean doing something nice for your surroundings in your home. Or maybe somebody in your family does something nice for you, or you do something nice for them. Or maybe you buy something small and nice for your home. I have to alert you about buying because Mercury goes retrograde on the 18th of the month. So try to get any contract signed, any legal documents, a lease or whatever, um, done before the 18th of the month. Any computer work, any repairs that need doing, back up your hard drive. And also remember, during a Mercury retrograde, it's not a time to spend a lot of money because our thinking patterns, we're not thinking as clearly as we do when Mercury is re uh, direct. So if it's more than about $10, don't buy it. So, as I said, for your home, buy something small, but something beautiful. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. So when Mercury is retrograde, then it's a good time to do research. It's a good time to complete on any projects you've already started. And it's also a really good time to clear the clutter and to organize your desk and get yourself streamlined and ready so that your mind is clear when Mercury does go direct again. So we've got Saturn going retrograde on the 7th of the month until July time. And it's going retrograde into your house of relationships, Pisces. And boy, there's been a lot coming up in relationships over the last few years. And it's very much looking at the health of your relationships. Are they really healthy? Have you overcommitted yourself? Now, this is relationships both in romance, your partner, your intimate partner, and also your business partner. Have you really taken on too much? Have you overcommitted yourself? Do you feel overwhelmed? Do you feel um, restricted and confined? It's really important during this Saturn retrograde to look at boundaries where you've taken on too many commitments and it's certainly not a time to take on more commitments. It's a time to say no and it's a time to perfect those commitments that you've really taken on that are all right 
but it's time to renegotiate and reassess because a retrograde is RE, it's always going back and looking at whether these commitments are supporting you or whether they're just draining you. So very important to look at those issues during this month. So there you have it, Pisces. It's going to be a mixture of looking at your finances and your money, your relationships, and also doing something nice in the home area. I wish you a wonderful month. For those of you that would like a personal reading, please take a look at my website. You may just have a couple of questions, so you'd only need a mini reading, or you might like an in-depth analysis of where you're at and what the transits and progressions are saying for you for this year. Thank you so much for listening. Bye for now.